Hello guys, Horse Girl 27 here, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing episode 4 of Rosewood Stables, and I know I uploaded a video this morning, but I just couldn't resist up not uploading another video because I was just so eager to show you all the things that I've done and the new additions to the barn. So let's get started with the update. So the first one is behind me. Um, in my video this morning, we started working on... Um, like this little resting area of the barn and stuff like that. So, first of all, this is what it looks like. And I love the mature trees. Like, the mature big trees look so good in this, like, world. Um, since they updated the look of the leaves, they just look so much prettier. Um, so here's the sign which we did in the last video, which I'm not super in love with, but I can live with. I might change the look of it in the future. But for now, this will do. So then we have the picnic bench over here and table that we worked on this morning, um, surrounded by these two trees. And then we have another big tree over here. And then we have this tiny fish pond, which has some fish in it. Um, and there's some seagrass in it, and it just looks super calm and relaxing um, to stand by. So... Then we'll move on to the bigger updates. Um, so all the bulls that we bred in the last video are gone. And I I've also rescued two new horses. So the first horse over here is my personal horse, um, which I will use for breeding. So this is the new horse. Her name is Mabel, and she's a thoroughbred. And she's like this sooty buckskin kind of color, um, which is super pretty. This is definitely one of my favorite horse colors. And I, yeah, she's just super pretty. And then she also was with another horse of the same color, so I didn't want to keep two of the same colored horses, so I decided to make one a lesson mare, which I might regret doing because she's really good. Um, so I might make her a giveaway horse or contest horse in the future, but for now she's just going to be a lesson horse, and obviously her name is Cookie. And then the bay paint that we bred in the last video, um, when he grew up, I realized he didn't really have that good of skills, so I just decided to make him a beginner's lesson horse. And his name is Puzzle, and he's definitely being rude to popcorn right now. So, let's break these two apart. Um, geldings, am I right? So there's those two. Oh my gosh, those two are crazy. Um, and then we have a new contest horse. This is Gemini. He's an Andalusian paint cross who we also bred in the last video. And he will be used for a contest for this video. So, like we did with the first contest, go and comment down below something nice. And please be fair, don't comment more than once. Um, I find it very unfair, in my opinion, that you can comment more than once because you have more of a chance. Um of getting the horse, which I know sounds like a good thing, but I want everyone to have a fair chance. So if you do comment more than twice, um, you're not going to be picked, sorry, um, but I find it unfair. So just comment once and then you can have a chance to get this lovely gelding and he's super cute. Um, so yes, and then we have uh, this horse over here, which the owner also gave me permission to breed, so thank you so much. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do in this video. Of course we're going to breed. I love this color of horse, so we're definitely going to breed with my mare. Um, I have a ton of red done, so, um, not sure who I want to breed Mabel with right now. Um, let's do Alcatraz. I think that would be pretty interesting. Um, let me grab a saddle first of all. And let me turn down my volume because I want to make sure you guys can hear me. So, come on, Alcatraz. I think this will be his first ever foal. No, because we had Eclipse who's right next to her, or right next to him. So, this will be a second foal. Super exciting. I normally use um, Oakley as, come on, my main breeding stud. So, now we need a golden apple. Let's grab that. So let's, oh my gosh, please stand still. Come here. Oh my gosh, come here. I'm going to feed you first. Okay, 
Okay, let's see. What kind of baby are we going to get? Uh, oh, we got a little buckskin appy. I'm going to grow her up so she doesn't get pushed into walls like she is right now. Oh, that's like one of my favorite colors. I love her face markings so much. They changed some of the horse's face markings, I've noticed as well, which is super cute. Alcatraz is a very successful stud for me. He's gone me many different Appaloosas. I should use him more often. I don't really use him too often. She's so stinking cute. Oh, that's Eclipse, not Mabel. I'm sorry, Eclipse. She's so stinking cute. Look at her. Adorable. So she will definitely be one of my personal horses. Um, I do need to go through some of my horses and get rid of them in the future until, like, the entire stables fold. I still have three, four stables that I can use in my personal barn. So, yes. Um, Whisper, I want to breed you again. Um, Oakley, I'm going to give him a break for a bit. Uh, let's do... Phoenix. Do, do, do. Let's do. Those are geldings. I'm not going to use those guys. I guess we can do Phoenix and Whisper. I suppose. I don't think I've ever bred Phoenix, actually. I don't think I have. So this will be interesting. I'm going to breed him with Whisper, preferably. Yes, he can jump. Will be. Uh, so come here, guys. Phoenix, Whisper, oh yes, I wanted this color, this is one of my favorite red dun colors, I fed him a little too much so he'll grow up quicker, um, but yeah, alright, let's bring you back in your stall, bud, so we got two new colored horses, whoopee, so happy, Dude, what are you doing? Why are you why are you climbing? You're supposed to stay down there like a good foal. Okay, so this guy will probably be a hmm. I have a lot of colts, guys. I don't really have a lot of fillies. So this girl will probably be a girl. Same with the other foal that we got. And I also want to start working on huh, what do I want to start working on? I can't decide if I want to start working on arenas or feed room tack room yet. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do yet. Tricky. Hmm. I've found myself in a little bit of trouble. So, um, I think I want to start working on the tack room. Tack room seems easier than the arena. So let's start working on a tack room. So I planned on having the tack room and feed room out here or the public tack room feed room out here. So I'm going to build it similar to how I built the barn, I believe. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm looking for wood. What is right here? It's been the same place forever. Come on, Hannah. Okay, so... Windows, wood, cobblestone, I think that should, oh, doors, obviously doors, you gotta have a door and a tack room, oh, and pathways, I don't even know what I'm thinking anymore, okay, so, let's just go as far as we can, Sorry guys, pathways are like really slow. I do not know how to build things very fast. That's why I'm more, I mainly build things off camera because it takes me like an hour at a time. And I can only like make videos no longer than 15 minutes. So I apologize for that. Just make this pathway a little bit longer. I was planning on having a breeding house, but I think it's just easier to breed the horses in the mare stall. Um, rather than having a separate breeding house, like sometimes it helps, but I don't think I'm going to be building a breeding house or a breeding stall in this barn just because it's extra building that isn't really necessary. I mean, it seems necessary. Don't get me wrong. Why did I just break that? Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to add one more thing there. So that's going to be where the doors are. Two, three, 
three, four, no, we'll just do three, two, three, four, five, six, six maybe, we'll go one more out, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think that's even, yes, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten, sorry guys, I have to count out loud or I lose, like, track of what I'm doing, that's cute, okay, so then wood, so I made it to where the wood is going all the way to the ground, So, I did it to where the entrances have wood around them, like normal wood, but I don't think I'm going to do this. Um, for the tack room, I'm not going to put, like, wood around it. I'm going to put oak wood planks around it, like so. Okay, I'm actually going to get rid of this so I can put a window here. So, we'll go ahead and put a window here. I love that they updated their windows. Their windows look so much better now. Like you can actually see through them. So this one, this side is a little bit longer. So I'm actually going to add two here for the window. And I don't know if I'm going to put the window here. Because I'm thinking of doing like um, tack lockers. So don't know if I'm going to put windows there yet. Two, one, two, one, two. There we go, and then I need to do these. So, tell me what you guys like in the comments down below as well. Um, like, do you like building? Do you like me breeding horses? What do you guys like to see? Because I do plan on building more in the series. This looks weird. That looks very small, but I'm going to... thinking I'm going to put, like, tack blockers here, so... Not super duper worried about it um, at this moment. Oh, that's why it looks funky on the side. I didn't do it closed in all the way like I thought I did. Um, yes, yeah, so that's kind of like the layout of it. So I'm going to do floors first. I don't know why I put these doors. They're just going to have to come right back down. chicken it's a chicken okay it's like what is small and white Floors and roofs are always really boring, guys. I'm sorry. Really boring. So I think we're going to end the video here so I can go ahead and do the roofing and the flooring of this building off camera because it'll be so much less boring for you guys. And then I'll wait to decorate the interior of the tack room um, and do the windows for you guys in the next episode, hopefully. So... Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to comment down below for the chance to get the contest horse. And remember, only comment once to make it fair for everyone. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!